Human, why is this bird in the shape of a ball? What did you do? I thought it would be cured fine. And did you make three smaller ones and put it on its back? <laughs> yeah. Do you plan on doing this again? Highly likely. Did you want people to buy it? Yeah, I wanted them to buy it. Did you feel that? That's what honesty feels like. Human, what are these small rods with clouds at the end? Oh, those would be cotton swabs, or more known as Q-tips. They can be used for, like, multiple things. So after what I've been saying, humans use it to help clean their ear canals? What's with the silence? Well, as much as people use Q-tips for their ears, it's actually doing more harm than good, possibly leading to earwax clogging the ears, causing hearing damage. Well, why do humans keep performing this? It feel good? It feel good. Yeah. Honestly, that answer could be used to so many things your kind does. Human. Yeah, what is it? You didn't tell me your planet had other sentient alien life forms. We don't. You're the first outer world species we've contacted. Then why is a solid several million Tarkinians and other sentient beings on your planet beneath the ocean? Wait, that that isn't a, that isn't a thing. Let me see. Oh, oh, those are crabs, scavengers of our planet. No, no, no. I cross-checked their DNA with other species I mentioned, and there is a 99.9% match rate with only a few changes in the genes to allow for survival underwater. Well, shit. Wait, does this mean- No, this does not mean the existence of crab people. Oh man. Human? What, what do you need? I found this illustration book on your shelf. Mind telling me why you didn't say that humans could use this magic? Oh, that's a manga. A Japanese comic that's usually based off of a fiction depending on the genre. Okay, that part makes sense. But then, why are 90% of the women in this book scantily clothed? Money? Uh, of course it is. Wait, before you say anything, let me introduce you to Dungeon Meshi. Good lord, this man is 90% beard and 10% panty shots. Human, what is this show? Oh, it's, it's Ben 10. It's a show about this kid who found this watch that turns him into different aliens. And he uses those powers to protect the Earth from different threats. And he can only turn into 10 different species, I assume. Well, it, it, it used to be 10, but now it's like around 62 out of a catalog of over a million. Then why is he called Ben 10? His last name's Tennyson. I swear, if he picks up my species, he better do it tastefully. Human, what, oh, what is this? What's what? This. I can't see anything. The other side of it is blurry. Oh, that's, that's my glasses. Could you hand them to me? Why would you want blurry glass? Uh, to, to see better. But it's blurry. Yeah. What have you done to your eyes? Genetics. Can you pass the jalapenos? Human, what is a jalapeno? Oh, it's a pepper which developed a chemical that causes mild irritation to dissuade potential predators from eating it. And you eat this willingly. Yeah, in fact, we liked it so much, we specifically bred various peppers to create more and more of this chemical than previous generations so we can enjoy it. Right now, the hottest pepper is called Pepper X. Your species continues to confuse and frighten me. Also, I'm pretty sure this is how you defecate your own intestines out. Human, what are you trying to breed in the lab this time? Oh, uh, you know, a comfortably warm support animal for those who need it. What? Basically, using a wholesome copy pasta is a good reason to help fight depression. And you sure it's not the one about Vaporeon? No, this one's about Flareon. All for it! When can I start helping? That's the spirit. Human, you have fallen face first into the thing you call a couch, and you have stayed there for two hours. Are you ill? Do you need medical attention? Mentally, yes, but I can't afford it because... American healthcare is the bitch. You're learning! You know, for a place that calls itself the land of the free, your country seems very restricted. You understand?